Hey, it's Breakatron. We're back, and it's, uh, oh, I think this is Sunday, 30 March. This is our te second test for the day. Our earlier test was a girth hitch on a climbing nut with 1 8 inch wire. This time we're going to test the breaking strength of a different type of hitch. Not a, It's similar to a girth hitch. It's called a climber hitch, and it involves a second wrap of the uh, sling around the wire, and it might distribute the forces better. Here's our uh, climber hitch right there. Um, as you can see, we've got a digital readout, and we're going to test the braking strength of this combination um, using a digital readout on a uh, force meter. Um, I think we're ready to go, and uh, I'm just going to crank this up and see what the braking strength is. Um, I'm going to trust for the uh, camera to record the, uh, the braking strength on the maximum uh, setting of the readout. So let's just crank it up and see where it breaks. Stop there and check the readout. We're at 640 pounds and falling. Nylon backs off a bit as it stretches. Getting pretty damn tight here. Okay, I can hear some threads breaking. Let's see what their uh, our readout is. Looks like we're about a thousand and sixty-three pounds. The yellow line is my safety rope. That's so that the load cell doesn't go flying around. You can see some some loose threads here at the bottom of the climbing hitch. Looks like we're holding good at a thousand pounds. So I'm gonna crank it up and see what breaks. Mm, boy, it's a lot of load on it. Yep, I can hear some threads breaking now. Oh, I hear them tearing. You can see them tear. We're currently at 1275 and falling as the uh, threads break. 1238. This is bringing on over. See what breaks. Oh, it's about to go. You can really see in here the threads really letting go as we fall back from 1,200 pounds as the nylon stretches. Let's take it on, but on up. So that was it. Hope the camera captured the 